For those of you who have seen my video blog on YouTube, maybe those of you who haven't, you'll know that I advocate that there's three kinds of brands. Brands you love, brands you don't love, brands you never heard of. Okay. Type three brands, emerging class brands, challenger brands, the ones you've never heard of. Those are the folks that really need to focus on the core strategy of awareness building. Now, that could be done through traditional advertising. We know that TV and radio and print advertising are ways to make people aware of your product or service. Okay. You can also accomplish that through social media. And one of the biggest out there, Facebook, 1.1 billion users of Facebook. That's a huge place to play in the marketing space. One of the reasons why marketers love it, because it's so big. Awareness advertising and awareness marketing through social media relies on two different forms of memory. Uh, one is explicit memory, and the other is implicit memory. The easiest way to describe that is explicit memory is studying driver's ed. Okay, implicit memory is driving a car. I don't have to remember the, all the things in the manual of the car in order to kind of muscle memory my way to work by driving it. Okay. The decision-making process stems from implicit memory, the subconscious. The, the, the how I feel about something rather than is something black or white. Implicit memory is the key to the decision-making process and that's where awareness works. You have to make somebody aware of something, then they have to have some sort of emotional attachment to it, and then you can get them to buy the product or the service. So for brands that you don't know, the most important thing is creating awareness. You can't get to the next step. You can't get to the implicit memory step. You can't get them to buy the product or service until you make them aware. You create implicit memory by being different by being bold. Sometimes it could be a bold color. This is an MS Society orange tie. I am a board member of the of the National MS Society. Okay, and I wear this when I play golf and people say, oh yeah, you're with the MS Society. Or I wear this on Capitol Hill. But increasing awareness for the society means that I would also send these to all of the news anchors and ask them to wear this during MS Awareness Week. Things like that create awareness through TV, through PR, okay? But reaching people through Facebook and 150,000 people on their Facebook page or one of the 4 million people in, in, in the uh, North America that have MS, that's a lot of people. Using the people to help spread the word through social media is one of the easiest ways and the cheapest ways to create the awareness. So, yes, you can have the strategy of awareness TV, radio, awareness advertising works, but you've got to connect the dots on the back end, and social media is a great way to do that.